Well, working in this project was rather interesting. Uh, I'm doing uh, voice acting only. And um, it was interesting to see the footage and uh, the pictures the, our American crew was uh, doing over the time in the process of the work. Uh, and also uh, watching the, the process and evolution of the work of uh, Pedro Pinecross and uh, Rui Constantin also uh, to see how it was going and to uh, see it evolve into a whole uh, project and the pieces all falling uh, together to make this amazing fan movie so it was amazing to work in it. Well, my character is none other than the greatest Jedi and the greatest Sith uh, that ever existed. And it's not Anakin Skywalker or Dark Vader, so... Of course, it's Darth uh, Revan. In my opinion, of course, he is the greatest of all time. And he existed in the Star Wars canon timeline. Uh, I don't know if he's still canon or not. But anyway, uh, he existed over 4,000 years before uh, the time of the New Republic uh, and uh, the Empire. Yeah, the Galactic Empire. So he was a um, an amazing duelist, an amazing uh, uh, force uh, user, and he was extremely charismatic and an amazing strategist. So that helped him in the wars against the Mandalorian raiders um, that were attacking settlements, and that went on and he and his pupil Malik uh, who was called Alec before um, ventured on searching the dark uh, influence that brought about war to the galaxy and they came back under the banner of the Sith Empire at the head of an amazing fleet that I had never seen before, and they conquered the galaxy like that. And then he was uh, miracles, miraculously uh, defeated by Master Lashan, uh, snotty, uh, uh, very obnoxious Jedi, very full of herself. And he lost his memories, and he was retrained in the arts and knowledge of the Jedi, and then he gained his memories back. And he was imprisoned. So, well, yeah, he saved the galaxy and he was imprisoned. That order. So, yes, he is amazing. <laughs> so, that's Revel, Revan in a nutshell. What did I use to base my character on? Well, I am a lover of the Knights of the Old Republic games. I've played and I have replayed over and over Knights of the Old Republic, the first and the second game. And I also play uh, the online uh, Knights of the, the Old Republic. So. There is a mission, a arc, if you will, a flashpoint mission and an arc of the, um, the game, where you have Revan. So you find Revan in the flashpoint, you hear him and you see him without the mask. So different from the uh, Knights of the Old Republic games, of course you have the face 
on the character Rubium, the, the Knights of the Old Republic. And then on the, the, the Old Republic, he almost looks like Keanu Reeves. So, yes. But you see Revan. And he speaks like this, without a mask. So, that is the Revan I based my character on. Yes, that's about it. That's the method I used. The Knights of the Old Republic and the Old Republic game. And I liked it, so... Yeah, that was it. If I wanted another character... Absolutely not. I love Revan. And it was uh, amazing when Rui told me uh, I would be a part of this project and I would be Revan. So yes, no other character, please. I'm good as is. Next movie. Ooh. My next movie. I will also give the voice. I will not tell you the name. I will not tell you almost anything, actually. But it will be a bit of saw in it. So it will be a bit of a saw-ish. And I will be the voice of the beyond so i'll be the architect of everything and that will be my next movie but you will like it so. well uh, the portuguese independent cinema is a bit uh, unsupported and sometimes unloved because it is indie, it is alternative, it is not mainstream and it is a bit unsupported by those who were supposed to support uh, the projects that exist, meaning not just the, the state but also other agencies that support arts and support cinema and all that so our cinema has a lot of space to grow it has a lot of places to go our industry is not just about soap operas and talk shows and reality tv we have more to give uh, we have Lots of talent that is being rotting somewhere, hidden. Uh, we have completely no support whatsoever. So that needs to change. Culture and uh, theatre, cinema, uh, independent cinema. All that needs to be supported and all that needs to be rised up above what it is not just the same we've seen everything we've seen soap operas that's about it soap operas a few television series but we need to be supported we need to grow we need help so, the independent cinema of Portugal has the potential to be greater than already is. We have awesome actors that are known worldwide. Uh, why not our cinema? Why not our productions? So, think about that. Well, for the fans, well, 
I could say thank you for everything, for all the support, but that thank you will never be enough. Because without you, where would we be? Uh, we are doing our work because and for the fans and for ourselves because we are also fans uh, of our work, of ourselves, of our colleagues. So thank you for everything. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your uh, continued criticism because with that we can grow, we can uh, change, we can better ourselves and we can do better and we can do more for you. Uh, so thank you for everything and for me I'll say I hope I can continue to give you the best uh, work I can give, uh, the best characters I can give in the best way uh, to keep you entertained, to keep you uh, amazed and I hope sincerely that you can continue to enjoy my work and uh, our work uh, in the future. So. We'll go for, for that. That's our goal. Keep going. Do better. Bring you more amazing stuff. And keep you wanting more. So thank you for making us uh, want that as well. And this has been an amazing year. Um, and I hope next year will be even better. And the next even better. And so on and so on. So. Thank you, and I hope we never let you down. Give it to me now, and I'll kill you quickly. In your dreams, Vader. So be it. Now you die. That won't be so easy.